So the first thing that I do, I start off by um, teasing like around my crown area. So I'm going to do that. It's just super simple. Um, I have a video on like how you tease your hair, how to get like a big poofy hair, stuff like that. But as well, I'll, I do, especially for this look, I will take my crown area first. And I just use any kind of comb. You can use a rat comb, a turtle comb like this has many different teeth. I've been really liking using this comb right here. I don't know why. I just really like it. So I pull my hair up, just do a few back combs, spray it with some hairspray, let it fall, and if you have good hairspray, your hair should stay up because of the hairspray. So you might not need to do a lot. And then I go ahead and I just do the sides. Give it a good spray, let it down, and then same with this side. Okay, so once you have your hair just teased a little bit, just comb through the top just to make sure it's nice. You will be fixing it after um, after we, got, we have some curls in it. And then I just take a small little clip, that's what I'm going to be using today, you can use anything by pins a brett thing like this so go ahead and just take your hair i just do from the tops of my ears and i just go up into the back just like a half ponytail make it as neat as you want and i'm going to brush the sides of the hair so it's not messy. Okay, so I've clipped it up. And now everything that is down, I'm going to just curl. I like doing it this way better because that way you're not having that extra layer of top hair and you have to curl all that. Let's go ahead and just brush through your hair. Prior to this, um, I just put in my bio silk, which is just this. Um, it's a silk infusion or silk therapy. It's just like the chi silk infusion. Um, just so your hair is just soft and shiny. Um, the back, it's just like that. It's nothing special just yet. Like I said before, we are going to make it a lot neater before we're done. So to start, just take, um, depending on how big of a section or big of a wave that you want to do, and if you want to have tight curls, um, I can show you how, okay, so this is just plain hair, nothing's in it except for the silk infusion, or the silk therapy. If you wanted to have a tight, crisp curl, um, that'll be a different video, but I'll show you. This, this is a thing called InfraTexture, it just looks like that, and what I use this for, it will give you a crisper curl. It is a heat activated hairspray, and but it's not crunchy, so I really like that. You just spray the piece of hair that you're going to be using. Take your curling iron, and the curling iron that I'm using is um, it's the Conair Infinity, the clampless wand. Just take your hair and wrap it back behind and I'll show you what kind of a curl that it will give you. Just wait about 10 seconds and then I let it drop into my hand and then you're left with that. But I'm not going for that kind of curl today and you can see that it's still soft um, it's not crunchy at all. It's a good little curl. But I'm not doing that one today. So I'll let that cool and then I'll fix it, all the rest of them. But I'm just doing slight waves. To do waves, I just do pretty thick pieces about this size. 
nothing's in it and I'm always curling away so let me scoot closer to you I put the curling iron behind the hair and then just wrap around and I only hold for about five seconds One, two three four five and then I let go and then you're left with that instead now if you get cre um, creasy ends like that you can go ahead and just take your iron on the tip be very careful wrap it around slightly so then you get one like this so go ahead and do that for the rest of your hair just take another section I just brush through it just so it's always smooth take it put it behind your hair and just start wrapping around in about five seconds let it go into your hand and then you can let it go and you can see that you get curls like that since we're going for the waves and on this side I'm still going to be curling away from my face brush it out still hold it from behind just go around and then I always flip it up so it's facing down and then let it out and you're just left with that you can see it's a lot faster to me it's a lot faster than a curling iron um, it's a lot faster for me than my chi iron and you can see that you're not supposed to do it like perfectly like how this is all like scattered you don't really need them to be perfect this heats up really fast the heat that I have on is 360 there you go
Okay, so you can see how quick that was. Um, you just have to just pull random strands and just kind of go through them. I just take my fingers, kind of brush through them, just so they're a bit more wavy. Um, I'll fix the top of this since it's not that great, but you can see, once you take it down, like there's pieces that get hidden that you don't need to sh um, curl. So just kind of make that a little bit nicer, or if it was already nice enough, just leave it. So just like that. Make sure the back has enough curls, or if you need to add more, go ahead and add more. But from what I can see, it looks pretty good. So we'll just keep it that way, just so to keep it, the video short. But if you needed to, just go ahead and go through a few strands, fix them up, and that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and this is a really cool iron. Go ahead and check it out. Do be careful when you are twisting it around so you don't burn your fingers. I haven't really burnt me before. Um, I've done like a little bit, like I can feel like I've touched it, but I didn't really hurt myself. See, so just kind of like fix pieces. So that's it. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.